Looking for a way to get your kids to pick up their toys before Santa gets here and they get more? We may just have that Christmas miracle for you. For a lot of us, the holidays mean more time with our families. And today, we're going to talk about some of the signs that you may see indicating that your loved ones may need a little more specialized care. Red, green, white, jingle bells? Coming up, we'll show you some of the ways you can decorate your home with that holiday flair. With that holiday flair comes lots of time in the kitchen, and if you like to bake and share, we have the cause for you. A new group of animals is now calling the Salisbury Zoo home. We'll introduce them to you, plus some Christmas fun going on this weekend for you and the family. And members of the Salisbury University Pops Group are here to perform. Del Marva Life starts right now. Good afternoon. I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hoppe. Welcome to Del Marva Life from Historic Studio D. And we want to welcome our studio audience. Thanks for joining us, guys. <laughs> uh, uh, huh. You weren't planning on smashing a watermelon, uh, were you? No, not that I were. Apparently, <laughs> apparently the guys from Ocean 98 know something we don't, so uh -oh. we're going to have to see how this goes today. Okay, I'm going to have to get me a, a rain jacket or something in the meantime. Yeah, hey, don't, <laughs> don't let us know. Anyway, um, first off the bat, want to say welcome home to the USS Enterprise and three local sailors. That yeah. tops this afternoon's Hot Topics. It came in over the weekend. Um, Navy Airman Recruit Corey Combs of Millsboro, Airman Larry R. Hoff Jr. of Crisfield, Petty Officer Second Class Christopher Nichols of Berlin, along with 5,500 other sailors and Marines assigned to the Enterprise Carrier Strike Group, came in. Uh, Saturday, the ship was officially, I guess decommissioned retired. is the right word, retired. Yeah. Uh, 25th time back to port mm -hmm. after 51 years wow. of service. So, All right, good for you guys. Back. Thank you for everything you do. And we appreciate all that you have done. Yeah. Uh, you remember we talking uh, the other day about the height, well, the other day, I guess it's been a few months ago now, the High Tide <laughs> Music Festival in Ocean City. Right. It, it was it's supposed yet to, to happen. Yeah, it was supposed to take place in the summer, and mm -hmm. they had to put it off because they couldn't get the artists lined up there. Right, right. Um, the promoter, his name is Tom Russell. Now he's, he got them to move it to summer of 2013. Okay. Now he's trying to get the city council to say, okay, let's move it off to 2014. Here's why. Uh, there was such a wonderful success with the Firefly Music Festival that you yeah, went to, right? Yeah, I went to you it, went yeah. To it. Mm -hmm. um, it was such a great success there that what they're wanting to do is not duplicate it as far as music and artists, so they're going to turn it country. Oh, okay. So they're looking for some of the top ten artists mm -hmm. in country music. Yeah, they'll get a big draw. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Yeah. So hopefully that'll so work So he's not a serial out. procrastinator. <laughs> I didn't say that. Well, I but mean, <laughs> it's you know the, actually I think that's what the city council is yeah, saying. So really, yeah. you think you'll be able to pull this off, or there's, town council? I should there's say. There's a method to his madness. Yes, yes. And it, it takes a lot longer. They're saying like 12 months to set up a country act, whereas the others can set up in eight or nine months. Right, so right. We'll see how that works. Hey, out. Uh, did you hear that the American Cheer and Dance Academy will host the Delmarva Cheer and Dance Championship? If you've ever if you've never been to one of these, you will want to head over to the Wicomico Youth and Civic Center. It's actually part of the Rock and Roll Championship Series. Uh, teams compete in a concert-themed event, and uh, spectator tickets are $10 for adults ages 11 and up, or $6 for children and seniors, and I am not seeing Sunday. Is so when that is. Yeah, come up I still left out Stop the most so, no. important detail. <laughs> that's Sunday. Yeah. Um, so that's a, and it's a remarkable. Mm -hmm. I, I've seen them on TV. I've never yeah. seen them in person. Yeah. I bet so that would be great. That would be fascinating. Nice. How many in here have your Christmas shopping done? <laughs> How many just started? How many haven't started? Oh, that's it. All right. If, you, <laughs> <laughs> if you're still looking for that Christmas present, here's an idea for you. Members of the Preservation Trust of Wicomico County are offering a one-of-a-kind book deal for you. Here it is for $25, a $50, 628-page book. The Maryland Historic Trust contracted with the author to put together a book based on the architecture of Wicomico County. They mm. contracted in the 90s, they printed it in 2008, so instead of 50, you can get it for 25. So there's there it is. That's that's a of the picture of the White, White Haven, I White think Haven, that is. Uh, yeah. yeah, hotel. So uh, there's, uh, if you're, 
if you got somebody that's really, really tough to buy for, mm -hmm. this would be a neat coffee table book. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, we had the uh, Salisbury Christmas Parade yesterday. Yeah. We've had the Pocomoke City Christmas Parade. I think also over the weekend we had the Cambridge Christmas Parade, and I'm probably missing a few others. Several but others. Uh, the Sussex County government will sponsor the 29th annual Caroling at the Circle tonight at 6.30 p.m. At the same time, the Greater Georgetown Chamber of Commerce will host the Christmas Balloon Parade, not at the same time, but a little later, right. 7 p.m. on Thursday. So, yeah, something to head out to. 29th annual caroling. Have you ever been out there for the caroling in the circle? I haven't. It's really nice. Yeah, it's a great event. It's got to be great. Yeah. It's got to be wonderful. Okay, so uh, you probably remember uh, Matt Haley joining us before. He's, oh, yeah, yeah. He's been in, our, the in our kitchen. kitchen. He what was a great guy. Our, awesome guy. Well, first. congratulations to the owner and executive chef of Sodell Concepts. Here's why. A string of prominent restaurants throughout southern Delaware is one thing, but the Delaware Restaurant Association has bestowed upon him the Cornerstone Award, which is a lifetime achievement honor given to a business or individual whose hard work, dedication, and creativity has added luster and prestige to the state's wow. hospitality industry. Matt, congratulations. I'm a fan. <laughs> you know what tickles me about Matt? Mm -hmm. He is so humble that he says he shares that honor with those who helped along the way when the future wasn't so bright. Yeah, and I've heard heard some of his story. It's pretty interesting. It's I mean, amazing. I don't I don't know how he's done it, but he did. So he definitely deserves that honor. What a guy. Of all the things that belong in the toilet, who would say the cell phone is probably the least? Has did anyone you drop your cell phone in the no, toilet? No, I didn't. No, <laughs> not yet. Has anybody in here ever dropped your cell phone in the toilet? Ah, we got one. We got two. two. Notice they're not clapping. Two. Oh, two. <laughs> Hesitantly raised their hands. Okay. Um, it's the guys from Ocean it, 98. It, it, <laughs> and they probably appreciate you calling them out. So, um, Nineteen percent of us, and actually I think those numbers work out in the crowd. Nineteen oh, percent yeah. of us have dropped the phone in the toilet. Sixteen percent of those phones come back out with something on it that we're not going to talk about. Um, Ew. Yeah, um, and you probably already know that... Um, it, it, to get the moisture out, you can use uncooked rice. Yeah. Um, put it in a bag, a, in a bag, like a sandwich bag with rice. Yeah. They say when you do that, an iPhone, leave the battery in. Don't try to take the battery out. Any other phone, take everything out you can, the battery, the mm -hmm. uh, the card, and all that stuff, mm -hmm. and put it in there. And it should it should suck yeah. most of the moisture Depending out. Depending on how much moisture it sucks yeah. in. Yeah. And it may have, but see, here's my thing. The, the iPhone, that's a four. The mm -hmm. five is what, $800, something like that? I drop an iPhone 5 in the toilet. Okay, they say get it out as quick as you can. <laughs> I'm gonna have to think that about yeah. that one for a minute. I'm I, I don't know. Just saying. What are you doing there. with your phone in the Jim. bathroom to begin with? That's my whole thing. So <laughs> <laughs> Is that where you play any, your words with friends? Any of you guys want to answer that one? Or shall we just, <laughs> we'll let that one go. So what do you do when you're a little dog and you want your toy back from the cat who's just a little bigger than you? I bet we have a cute video about this. Yeah. Can I have that? Can I have that? Can I have that? Can I have that? Please? Can I have that? No. no. <laughs> Please? <laughs> He's thinking about it. Nope. Can I have that? 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 I said no. Oh my goodness. This could go on all day, Jimmy. It could. And I think it did, as a matter of fact. I sat at my desk for a half an hour watching that one. Well, still to come, if you haven't seen your loved ones in quite a while, you may still soon see them for Christmas. But what if you notice they're not getting around as easily as they once did? Well, we're going to help guide you through the process if your family thinks a senior living community might be a good option. And later, the Salisbury Pops are here ahead of their big holiday concert tomorrow. We'll get a full performance in just a little while. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897, and your local York and Mitsubishi dealers.